Concert in the border of Moyale and Ethiopia. People are running so that they can make sure that they are not closed outside of it to another country, of course. This is the side of uh, Kenya. That's the other side of Ethiopia. After Ethiopia, go to Habesha. It's an amazing place, you know, but you have to go from during the morning hours till 6 p.m. There yeah, they love Angela, it's their staple food. They love Angela. They drink a lot of coffee. You see the way they do your running and stuff like in Ferry. Plenty of them, but they don't know English. I come. Come. That's <laughs> You see, there are so many of them. They walk from other part of the country to this other side of another country. They speak Amharic. Most of them, they don't know Swahili. They don't know English. They speak Amharic, but I uh, have heard there's some of them who speak Burana and Oromo. Okay, see this side of, this side of the... This is the other side I'm, I'm showing you, this side. That's where the Oromo Liberation Army stays. It is an army which was... It, it was in Ethiopia. It's like it, it liberated itself from Ethiopia. Then it even crossed over here in Kenya. So they live in, in the forest there, in Somare area of Moyale. How it, it is more than... 5,000 soldiers who live in the forest. But they are friendly to, to our forces here, the Kenya Police Forces, Kenya Defense Forces, Administration Police Forces, and the all multi-agents. They are friendly. However, on the other side, they're now on the left side here, as I'm showing you, they are past there, there's a town called Manyata. In Manyata, it is not much secure there. Rumors has it that even and Shabab walk on those sides. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bolin Commandante.